first go to Google and download Git. Click on this first result from git-scm. From the downloads options, click Windows or whatever OS you have. Now here you will see these options, 32-bit, 64-bit, 32-bit or 64-bit. So ignore the thumb drive edition. You need to download the standalone version. To check which version you will need 32-bit or 64-bit, press Windows and R and type MS Info 32. Here you will see that your system type is x64 based PC. So close this and select the 64 bit version. As you can see, it is downloading now. Click on open file and your installer will open. Click on next and this is where your git will be installed. If you want to install it in some other directory, you can browse and choose another directory from here. I will choose to install in this directory itself. Click next and I already had it installed previously so that folder is there anyway uh, but if your git was not installed previously you will not see this option and leave it as it is no need to check or uncheck these things click next again click next click next in all these options no need to change these so I am clicking next without changing anything you can also do the same and finally our git installation is starting so you will not do the these notes uncheck this and click finish now git is successfully installed if you press windows and type git you will see this git bash and git gui here so git bash is the terminal from where you can enter git commands and stuff so like Git status, and you will see an error because this is not a parent Git repository. Anyway, this is the bash, and you also have Git UI with you, Git GUI. So from here, you can create repositories, clone, and open existing repositories. Okay, so after you have installed Git, now you can enable Git in VS Code. So go to VS Code, and now I have a project here, and this project already has Git, and I will show you how you can use Git in Visual Studio Code. So first go to files and go to preferences and click on settings now in this search bar type git or then enabled now you will see all these options for git and as you can see i already have this enabled here in your case it will be unselected like this so click on this and you can choose to click on this and this also but this is the only thing that is required to use git in visual studio code so once you have turned this on close this and then you will see this icon here that is source control and you will see all the git details in this in this source control tab so click on this and here you will see which file has changes so as you can see in my project i have multiple files right so i only have changes in docker file so that is what this is showing so it is showing i have changes in docker file so if i click on this as you can see it will show you that i have removed this the red one is removed and the green one is added so these two things is what i've changed and if i scroll down this is what i have removed and this is what i've added vs code makes it very easy to see changes more changes and all that stuff so this is how you can install and use git in visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below